All right. So sometimes you might want to use custom maps in apps, or customers might, you know, want want to be able to use custom maps inside of an app, like I'm showing here. Uh, the way you can do that is uh, for your data type itself, uh, for any of the the tables uh, that you would like to have a custom map shown. You're going to add a field that's the X Y column type. And if we go ahead and expand the attributes here, um, there's for the XY column type, there's this field here, which allows you to have a background image for the XY coordinates. And that could be one image. Uh, as shown here in the case, it's just basically pulling a random floor plan off the internet. Or you could reference the um, image columns or file columns inside of your app as well. And you could build in, um, you know, if then logic or switch logic uh, with a switch formula, for example, to where you could look at you know, maybe if you have like multiple levels inside of a building, you could do something like that where you reference the level column in a switch statement and then have a bunch of value pairs, right, with the floor plan result. Um, so if we were to simplify that as an example, you could dynamically show different levels, this different custom maps based off of something like this, where you could have level one dot JPEG as a floor plan, level two and level two dot JPEG as a floor plan. And then, you know, maybe something, to, you know, as a catch all at the end. Right. And then you can build upon this and that way your maps are dynamic based off the data in the table that you 